Hello all, welcome to part 276 of Core Java training series. In this session, I am going to explain and practically demonstrate system.getProperty user.dir statement in Java. So let's get started. So what is the purpose of using this statement? So let me quickly switch to this uh, Eclipse IDE where we have this Java project created. Inside this Java project, we have created a class. Under the class, we have the main method. So inside the main method, okay, I'm going to write this statement that is system.getPropertyUser.dir. What is the purpose of the statement? Using the statement, we can get the path of this project, okay? If you want to get the path of the project, what is the path of this project? If I right click on this project and select properties here, whatever that is displayed here is the path of the project, okay? This is the path. If you copy this project somewhere else, the path of the project will change. So dynamically, if you want to get the path of the project, okay, if I double just write this as a comment here, this is the path of the project, guys. I just copied from right click properties of this project. If I want to get this uh, project path dynamically, tomorrow if this project is copied to some other location and you still want to get the current location of the project dynamically, every time you cannot go to properties and uh, get this path, right? That maintenance work will increase. Rather, Java is providing you a predefined class known as system class, okay? There's a predefined class known as system class and uh, system dot, okay? System dot get property, okay? Get property, this is a method case, this is a method. If you hover the mouse on system class, you can see that it is from Java dot blank package, which is, which is a default package of, uh, uh, Java guys, that means all the classes, predefined classes, interfaces, whatever are coming from this java.lang package, right? You don't have to explicitly import that. You don't have to write any import statement like importing the system class from the java.lang package because that is a default package, guys. You don't have to import. And this system class has a static method known as get property. We can see that, okay? Let's go to the declaration and see it's a static method. You see, get property is a static method. That's why with the help of the class name, that is system class name, I'm calling this method directly. I don't have to create an object reference for the system class to call this method because this is static method, okay? Static methods can be called with the help of the class names. So under the system class, we have get property and get property is a static method of the system class. So we can access with the class name. Till then, everything is fine. Now, in this, if you provide double quotes, put a semicolon here. In double quotes, you write user.dir, okay? This is one of the properties, guys, okay? One of the properties uh, uh, that Java can recognize. If you ask Java to provide or get this property, okay? Using this method, if you're asking Java to get this user.dir, okay? Then you'll get the path of the project, okay? Then you will get what? The path of the project you will get, guys. Whatever I have write, written in the comment format here, that will be printed in the output, guys. Let's run this code. No matter where the project is saved in your machine, we will simply get the path of the project printed in the output, guys. I have run the code. So nothing got printed because, you see, system.getProperty is returning you the path of this project in the string format. Path of the project in the string format. We have not utilized that, okay? So here, write path of project is equal to, okay? This get property method return type is string. So hover the mouse and say create local variable string return type of this method will automatically get added here. Now, now write system dot out dot print here then and just print the path of the project. Okay. Now let's see whether the path of the project will be printed or not. Okay. So which is uh, which should be like this. this. This should be the path of the project that should be printed in the output console. Guys, rightly run as Java application. You see a path got printed, guys. Let's compare this path. C users, Arunium, Selenium demo, Selenium demo. And after that, what is there? After Selenium demo, we have Selenium demo project. Yes, Selenium demo project. Okay, done. So this is how, guys, we can get the path of the project. Okay, user.dir is a property that we are using to get the path of the project. So similar to user.dir, there are other properties also. Okay, so how to get that properties? If you want to get that, just comment this thing, guys. Okay, for a while, we'll let's comment this part. If you want to get a list of properties like user.dir, what we can do is we can write system dot get dot get properties. You see, this is a method you have to take dot which method we have to say. Uh, 
property. I think uh, we have to use this get, I guess. Okay, let me see first all the list. Okay, so size and all these things are there. Yeah, list is there, list. Okay, list, we have to use list, guys. And here you write system dot out, that's it, okay? Like this, you write a statement, guys. Then you'll get the list of properties that you can pass here for system dot get property. This is one of the property I have used in place of user dot dir. We can use a lot of properties in Java, guys. If you say user dot dir, it will get the project path. Uh, similar to user dot dir, there are other properties. If you want to find out the list of complete properties that we can pass to this get property method in Java, then we have to write this statement that system dot get properties dot list of system dot out. We'll get a different list of properties. For example, if I put this uh, Java specification version. Okay, if I comment this out, and if I put this Java instead of user dot dir, if I mention Java specification version, and uh, see that this is not the path of the project anymore, it's something. Okay, so I'll say str here otherwise, so that it will be general thing. Now let's see mm, the Java specification version, Java version that is installed in my machine should be printed. That is seventeen. Yes, I have Java. If I open the command prompt cmd uh, and uh, open the command prompt and say java hyphen version you'll get version as 17 guys okay 17th version is okay like that so similarly there are a lot of properties okay in place of user dot dir you can pass a lot of properties guys, okay that is this is another example again let's go back and uh, see the output for the system right what what else what different properties we have that we can pass to this get property method let's see that now so we have this uh, java specification version a lot of things guys that we don't have to actually need okay java class path uh then uh okay os name Oper if you want to get the operating system name you can use os dot name if you want to get the country from where okay this uh, machine belongs then i can use ion and then uh then user home this is the one and uh java home okay like that many properties are there guys okay user dot dir is one of the property which we have already have used for getting the project path so we can get the Java version, OS version, username of this machine. A lot of properties exist, guys. You can explore them. But hope you got an idea like how to use system.get property and how the property, what are the different predefined properties we have in Java. So I covered in this session. Okay. So that's all for this session. Thank you. Bye.